<laughs> hey, what's up, Climber Nation? Patrick here. So today we're looking at a very basic rigging concept that I call controlled freefall. Uh, so the name for this came from my buddy Will. Uh, big shout out to my buddy Will. He's my very first YouTube subscriber. Um, and I had used this all the time at work. I just never had a name for the concept. So I find that concepts are much easier to learn and teach when there's a name attached to them. Um, so anyway, if we think in terms of rigging, in terms of like control, like full control being on one end of the spectrum, such as this, like something coming down nice and slow, as compared to the other end of the spectrum where it's just free falling, right? Uh, well then this idea of controlled uh, free fall would fall somewhere in the middle between those two extremes, right? Um, so this is just a very basic technique uh, that we use all the time, like I say. Uh, there's two main reasons why I use it on the job. Uh, number one is just to speed up the workflow, right? Uh, in the right situation, you know, someone on the rope being opportunistic, they can let it run when it needs to run, and they can let it run fast, they can slow it down, whatever they need to do in the moment, you know what I mean? Um, so that's number one reason. The second major reason that I use this is when I'm on a stem and I have to rope the top Wow, out, mint, um, mint. If I'm a little bit worried about the stem awesome. for whatever reason, I'll ask them, given the right situation, I will ask the guy on the ground to just let it run all the way so until it crashes into the ground. And uh, doing that just really minimizes those peak forces, you know what I mean? Those shock load forces. So so this is what it is. It's, it's basically just letting something move naturally, but there is a rope on it. As compared to something like this, where it's coming down nice and slow, full, full control. You know what I mean? Again, we think of that this spectrum. You have full control on the one end of the spectrum, and then the opposite end is just free falling stuff like that. You know what I mean? Kablooey. Kablooey, right? So, right? So controlled free fall is somewhere in the middle. It's an awesome technique. I use it all the time. I'm a big fan. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, see if you can get some value out of it. All right. So. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys and uh, try it out on the job site. I'm really just posting this for people who are new to roping, just as just to show them that there there are alternatives. Because a new guy on a rope, he always always just wants to hold the rope. You know what I mean? And holding is often the wrong thing to do. You want to let something move naturally when you can. Okay? So controlled free fall. Give it a try. Until next time. Peace out.